Hey, if you've ever wanted to punch out the guy who yells Freebird at the concert, you are in the right place. For what it's worth, I'm Murray Valeriano. Welcome to the only music and comedy game show that matters. Today, I have three contestants who will test their musical trivia knowledge and their quick wit, but only one will rise above the rest and be crowned the king or queen of rock. Let's meet our players. Today we, oh, I'm very excited about the players today. This is a, this is a good get for me, I think. This is a good get for me. Coming up first, we got the host of the award-winning Never Not Funny podcast, the host of Jimmy's Records and Tapes, Jimmy Pardo. Hello, Murray. Nice to see you, sir. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited oh, about it. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm very excited for you to be here. Is that actual records and tapes behind you? Or? I am at the records. I'm at Jimmy's records and tapes as we speak, and I may uh, go to them uh, for reference if need be. Oh, okay. I might constitute cheating. We'll go to the judges might, later. Uh, I got a hoodie and the blowfish immediately behind my uh, right shoulder. <laughs> oh, right. I may need to go to. All right. Is there going to be any dinging when customers walk through the door? Is that you know what? I, sh I shut down today. I said, you know oh. what? I'm busy for uh, the next uh, 45 minutes to, to an hour. Uh, you know, go down to the record bar if you need to. But uh, uh, they understand. Right. We got, we got right. loyal cut. They'll come back. Okay, good. And joining us also today, a, a good friend of mine. I haven't seen her in so long. Very funny comedian. Work together in Seattle. Put your hands together for Mary Gallagher. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very You're welcome. much. You're welcome. I like your backdrop also. Did you steal Thank that you. street sign? <laughs> um, no, that's my friends, but I did kind of build this room for my daughter. We call it the music studio. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, also known, to... known as the room she'll eventually get high in. Oh, <laughs> oh all right. I don't know about that parenting right there. I don't <laughs> judge. I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't judge. Oh, and then I'm very excited to have the drummer for Motion City Soundtrack. And remind me of your podcast name again, sir. Bizarre Albums. Bizarre Albums. Have I got a game for you, Tony Thaxton. I am so excited to have you here. Thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to be here headlining the show today. <laughs> oh, all right. You know, I worked at Conan for a long time. They would always say the, the most important name first. So I don't mm. know what you're getting at, Tony. Well, because, you know, I'm a musician and usually the headliner goes on last. It's so. it, but in the talk show world, the headliner's yeah. name is first. So I, right, but Mary's right the, in the middle, as, as she, and rightfully so. And right, I'm absolutely. from the music world. So therefore, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will add Could this you know? to, by the way, if you're not listening to Bizarre Albums, you're making a mistake. It is. Uh, it is my son Oliver's favorite podcast, and it is in my top seven. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if you're done jerking Tony off, let's get on with the game. <laughs> <laughs> I love his podcast. I'm sorry. I, I love I Jimmy's very much podcast. enjoy it. <laughs> I like them all also. So, <laughs> all even right, though you couldn't with... remember the name of mine. Yeah, that's a good call. Oh. Good call. Good, good call, Tony. Dude, don't think I didn't notice. I stumbled over that fucking intro, and we got to do it again at the end. So, <laughs> you think so? I thought one of us would be counted. <laughs> <laughs> all right players before we get started there's one thing you need to know i'm giving you each an advance of 25 points okay so it's up to you it's up to you to add on to those points through right answers and strategic wagers okay but if you get any questions wrong you could lose those points all right yes questions <laughs> can i win with 25 points uh depends on how bad jimmy and tony do <laughs> Oh, so we can lose points. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can lose points. Okay. Yeah, uh, send it all out. He literally email. said one sentence, Mary, and that was <laughs> in that sentence. I know. <laughs> I just, all right. Now I can get you guys out of around. here in 37 Let's go. minutes. 37 <laughs> minutes. Added seven minutes for that question. I'm just kidding, Mary. There are no dumb questions except that one. All right. Are you guys ready to rock? <laughs> yes, sir. Ah. All roll. right. Let's go to the rock wall. There are six categories on the rock wall. Each category has one question. Once you are given the category, you can wager up to one to five points of your advance. Once you wager, I'll read that question. If you get that question right, you get those points. If you get that question wrong, you lose those points. Today's categories are father figure, all things must pass, Apple music, I buried Paul, take the money and run, I'm fixing a hole. All right, all categories are selected randomly. Let's start with Jimmy Pardo. Shuffle the rock wall. Jimmy, your category yes, is all things must pass. Okay. How much are you willing to wager? One of to five my 25? Points. One to five points. 
I'm going to go with, uh, I, I fear, you know, I'm, I don't know a lot about the Beatles, and I fear that this may be a Beatles uh, uh, heavy uh, rock wall, and so I'm a little panicked. Um, so I'm going to just go with three. I'm going to right down the middle here. All right, three points for Jimmy Pardo. After being rushed to the emergency room and having it removed, Kisses Gene Simmons, always looking to make a buck, sold what on eBay for $15,000? Yeah, you see what I mean about the Beatles? This is right out of <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. Um, I'm, I'm going to say uh, his appendix. That's my guess, his appendix. For three points, his appendix. Sorry, that is incorrect. What the hell, I'm out. Oh, that's the first question. It was oh, the I'm first question. In. I'm back in. Okay, good, good, good. The actual answer is his kidney stone. Damn it, damn. Kidney stone. $15,000. What weirdo wants that, Murray? What weirdo spends fifteen grand on a kidney hold stone? Hold on. Hold on. Let me get the kidney stone. You'll see. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I didn't know you had that kind of dough, to be honest. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's kidney stone. Let's be honest, kid- though. I don't know what's more painful, listening to Kiss's music or passing a kidney stone. I can't. How <laughs> dare you? I, <laughs> enjoy, I enjoy the band. Um, do you think, by the way, it should be called a kidney stone? Do you think that uh, Gene Simmons oh. licensed uh, and branded it that way? I'm sure. Maybe it's on. You can get it at Costco along with their coffins. Negative three points for Jimmy Pardo. <laughs> Mary Gallagher, we're coming to you. Shuffle the rock wall. Oh, your category is Apple Music. How much of your advance are you willing to wager? One to five points. I'm going to go three. Three points. Three points. It yeah. worked for Jimmy. Who was the first Beatle to score a number one hit as a solo artist? And what was that song? Um, yeah. You got a one in four chance on the Beatles. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to well, go one in three. Ahead. We know it's not Ringo. We do? Well, now we do. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go George, my sweet lord. Oh my God, correct! Mary Gallagher! Wow. Fantastic! That is excellent. Three points for Mary Gallagher. Are you a Beatles fan? Is that the deal? Uh, yeah, I am a Beatles fan. I'm picking okay. up where Jimmy left off. Apparently. Apparently. Good call. Excellent. Great job. We're coming hey, to you, Murray? Tony. Fa- yes, sir. Could you have read my question with, uh, you know, he had, uh, what did he sell for $15,000? It could be anybody part except for the appendix. Good luck. Could you have said that <laughs> in the same way that you just read Mary's? And Jimmy, I was going to guess Ringo until he told me that it wasn't Ringo, I- so... He really helped. I believe it because I would. My guess was Ringo too, Mary, with uh, the No No yeah. song. I thought it was going to be that, like some <laughs> weird, bizarre number one nobody would have expected. I yeah. think it's becoming really apparent that Tony is my favorite player today. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Tony, Thaxton, it's early. It's early. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shuffle the rock wall for Tony. All right, take the money and run, Tony Thaxton. How much of your advance are you willing to wager? Uh, I'll go four. Four. Oh, balls to Take the wall. Here we go. Take the money and run. George Harrison was sued for copyright infringement for his song, My Sweet Lord. The lawsuit claimed that that song was a direct ripoff of which song made famous by the Chiffons. It wasn't Dear Mr. Postman. Oh, boy. I'm ashamed of myself because I think I do know this, but I am spacing right now. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I got nothing. Oh, does anybody want to make myself. Tony Thaxton look foolish? Oh, look at Mary. Oh, Mary Gallagher for no points. He, he's so fine. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said he's so fun. And he is so fine. Is no so points. Fun. No points for Tony Thaxton. Did you know that once we said it or once Mary said it? I don't think I did, actually. I thought I okay. did, but I was wrong. He's so fine. And he actually lost. He had to pay it out. And I believe he tried to throw, uh, what's his face, the keyboard player under the bus. Billy Preston. Do I get four Billy points Preston. back? Billy Preston, four points, four points for him. <laughs> All right, let's go, Jimmy Pardo, you're back up. Let's go to the row, shuffle the rock wall. Father figure, father okay. figure, how much of your advance are you willing to? Um, I, 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 I'm in fear that this is a George Michael question, and I claim to know a lot about George Michael, So, and I'm panicked that this will be the one thing I don't know about. Uh, but I'll go the full nickel. I'll go five on this. All right, going nickels on this one. I love it. Father yeah. figure. Shortly after his dad passed away to honor him, Keith Richards said that he snorted cocaine laced with what? 
place? I'm gonna. What? I, I'm going to say uh, that I really know. Uh, it's obvious that I understand what these topics are. There's no question. I've gotten that right now. With the Beatles <laughs> and the George Michael. Um, I'm going to say his father's ashes. That's my guess. He, he snorted cocaine laced with his father's ashes. Man, just when we couldn't thought we can gross out more with Gene Simmons' kidney stone. You're correct, sir. His father's ashes. All right. Hey, is anybody else surprised that uh, Keith Richards does drugs? I, I I just found out from this question. Right. I know. It was weird when I was doing research for this. Hmm. I had a hard time. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Points for Thank Jimmy you, Pardo. Thanks. All right. Mary Gallagher. Let's shuffle the rock wall. Oh, your question today, fixing a hole, fixing a hole. How much of your advance are you willing to wager? Um, let's go four. Or quattro, as some people might say. Fixing a hole, fixing a hole. Here we go. Rapper 50 Cent claims to have been shot how many times? The same amount of times Ferris Bueller has been absent this semester. I'm going to guess 50. <laughs> you know, he's still alive, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to make connections here with the okay. name. All right. All right. Well, that's, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. It's, uh, I'm sorry. There are no points. He <laughs> said has not been shot 50 times. Uh, the correct answer is, and if I can do my best Jeffrey Jones impression, Nine, nine times. times, nine times. That was very good. So, looks like somebody's leaving Mary's cheese out in the wind. All right, Tony Thaxton, let's shuffle the rock wall. All right, your category today, I buried Paul. I buried Paul. I want my four points back. I want to see if it's right. possible to win with 25. All right. <laughs> For four points with I buried Paul before QAnon, Conspiracy theorists claim that the license plate on the cover of the Beatles' Abbey Road album reading 28 IF meant what? It meant 20, he would be 28 years old if he was still alive. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Good job. That is fantastic, Tony. Mary, you probably knew that, right? That was, that was, that was phrased pretty easy for Tony. <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding. Right. Yeah, I did know that. Who doesn't you know, know the that? Weird? The, the, first of all, it's so, the, the weird thing is, is he was 27. Yeah. <laughs> so it didn't Aww. even, and he's still alive, as we all know. And, you know, according to QAnon, he's, he's in Guantanamo with Hillary Clinton, Jeffrey Epstein, and Barack Obama. All right, that was the rock wall. Let's tally up these scores and see who's winning this thing. All right, the points are in. Okay, coming in. Third place with one less than what she started with. One less than what she started. We may never know if you can win with 25 the way you're going at this point. I know. 24 points for Mary Gallagher. Tony, even keeled, buddy. Straight mm -hmm. C student. Beige as they come. 25 points. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> no advance. No decline. But Jimmy Pardo, yeah. coming in the lead at this point. 27 points. Two more than you started with. It's still anybody's game. Let's go to the mashup. Today's mashup is album titles. I scoured the internet and I found the worst album covers I could find. I got rid of those lame titles and I asked you, the players, to come up with a better album title. So players, I want you to pitch me your album titles, whichever one I like and I think beats the original album title, you will be awarded five points. Is it completely subjective? Absolutely. Is it my show? Yes, it is, so suck it. Let's go to the first album cover. All right, let's start with Jimmy Pardo. Jimmy, you're a fan of Charla and Tommy McNeely, aren't you? Uh, yes, and the, uh, the album title is Incestuous Dreams, a family's tribute to the Moody Blues. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is that a... Is that a McNeely album behind you? I, see I do have a Sahuti? McNeely right. I, I can't believe you saw it with, with those peepers of yours. That uh, yeah, oh, I, got, yeah. I got their full catalog back here if you're looking for it. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Mary Gallagher, what do you got for Charla and Tommy McNeely? Yes, that would be two in the hand, one in the bush. Oh, <laughs> all right. I think I like that. I think, I think that that's a follow up to Jimmy's incestuous album, I think. <laughs> 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 Let's be honest, this is from the 60s, so there is still Bush. All right, Tony Thaxton. Hello. What album title do you have for Charla and Tommy McNeely? Now that's what I call a handstand. 
Oh, I like it. I like it. Let's see what the original album title is. The Unseen oh. Hand. <laughs> the hmm. Unseen Hand. Hmm. All right, first of all, am we I the only it. one who could see the hand? No, I see it. Yeah, I see yeah, it. Mary? Okay, lame album yeah. title, lame album title. I think I'm going with Mary Gallagher. What was your album title? My title was um, uh, Two in the Hand, One in the Bush. We got a winner. Mary Gallagher, five points. Two in the hand, one in the bush. Excellent job. Fish with dreams. I, I got a little nervous with my own title there. <laughs> sorry, I, I made it. Sorry, I, I made it that. uncomfortable with the uh, pubic joke. <laughs> let's go to the next. Let's go to the next album cover. All right, this is from Coronel Ludru. Excuse my pronunciation. Um, Jimmy Pardo. What uh, album titles do we have for this? Sure. It, uh, the name of the album title is uh, the name of the album is Mulin, and then the sticker on the album says featuring the smash hit "Just Another Drug Run Monday." <laughs> <laughs> just another drug run Monday. Who? Who? Just uh, Monday. Oh no! Right. Am I gonna have to? Am I gonna have to pay rights for that? Nope. Not not not, oh. that, not my version. <laughs> okay. Good job. No All, right. <laughs> All right. Mary Gallagher, Coronel Ludru. What do you have them title do you have for this? It's the best of the Tijuana app. I love, <laughs> excellent, good job. A little Herb Alpert reference for our old people. I love it, I love it. Tony Thaxton, what do you got for me, buddy? Seriously though, did you see how long that guy's tie is in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, that's the longest tie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that's got a good point. <laughs> Got a good point. Don't give him the points. This game's rigged. <laughs> right, I'm not first kidding. of all, I don't appreciate the bullying, Jimmy Pardo. Oh my god! <laughs> Before I award points, I had a similar title to Mary's: first class ass. Ah. Mm. Yeah. No, you're not playing. Right, I buckle. I buckle Can under you... the pressure. Jimmy Pardo has wedged me too many times in my life. Tony Thaxton. <laughs> long try. Long tie coming. I love it. <laughs> Let's see what the album, actual album title is. No Rio. No Rio, which I believe is Spanish for no no laughing, right? No, I don't laugh. I think it means no Rio. Oh, all right. Well, we know where that plane's not going. Rio. Our next album title is Nev Nichols and his Country Playboys. Nev Nichols and his Country Playboys. Jimmy Pardo, do you have an album title for this album? Well, if you look at the uh, license plate, you'll see that this was actually the first uh, uh, released by the Nine Nails Inch. <laughs> awesome is that your album title sure okay. <laughs> you know what give it you want to give it you want to give the nine nails inch a title it's also called grotto okay all right we'll go with nine 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 nails nine inch. Nails yeah. inch, nine nails inch. All right. See, it looks go. like their logo. That's the premise. Oh, absolutely. No, I had this discussion earlier. With, with Trent Reznor. <laughs> I'm name dropping. <laughs> It's not true. Mary Gallagher, what <laughs> album title do you have for Nev Nichols and his country playboys? Holding my headstock. If you know your guitar parts, that's my headstock. <laughs> All right. Kind of making it a little dirty, Mary. I'm not going to lie to you. I, feel like I'm... I don't know. That... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holding my headstock. <laughs> Holding my headstock. Anybody's game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Baxton, what do you have for Nev Nichols and his country playboys? This is how I always stand. <laughs> my, my, my runner up was acting naturally. I love it. <laughs> love oh, it. I, you know what? You know what? They're both winners. Tony Thaxton, five points. Oh, Thaxton runs away with this category. Seriously. Excellent. Well, you oh. know, he does have that podcast that I can't ever remember the name of. It's, your, it's one of your favorites. <laughs> it's one of my, I love, love it. it. I'm going to listen to it after it this. It feels <laughs> good when a drummer beats a professional comedian. That feels real good. <laughs> <laughs> he paradiddled all over you. Come on. That's a drum reference. Tony? I mean, it, it is a reference. <laughs> He's correct. <laughs> oh, but we all love Mary Gallagher's fucking headstock guitar reference? Loved it. Okay, fine. It's the best right, guitar fine. joke I've ever heard. Let's see what Nev Nichols and his Country Playboys title of this album is. 
Oh, just my fucking luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I think that wins. Yeah. Oh, no, I think, so I, think I might. I think I might have to take back those points. <laughs> That's the winner. <laughs> That's oh, better no. than anything. <laughs> oh no. That's better than my joke and Mary's. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right. You know what? No points. I apologize, Tony Agreed. Paxton. Damn. Tony Paxton. I apologize for the bringing up the primrose path. But it looks like Nev Nichols is getting five points for my truck and luck. Normally, I'm not partial to puns, but what can you do with that quality humor? Yeah, I understand. Let's tally up the scores and see who's winning this thing. All right, the points are in. Let's see who's winning this thing. Jimmy Pardo slipped into third place, sir. Ugh. You just say I'm a little disappointed. I'm, I'm disappointed. Too. I thought that incestuous thing was going to bring the house down, and I would. <laughs> it was going to be a runaway. Uh, game. That's how. That's yeah. how confident I was in that answer. Yeah. But moving up into second place, Mary with twenty nine points. Twenty nine points. Four more than you started with. You could still maybe win this at twenty five. We don't know. Yeah. We'll I just want to point out that I did get my sweet lord right, and I know you're not counting that, but that seems a little unfair. Hmm. Oh, you know, you're right. I'm sorry, and you should probably should have brought it up twenty minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know about. I didn't know I'd be losing. All right. All right. Uh, and then uh, Tony Faxton pulls it ahead. 30 points. 30 yeah. points, Tony Faxton. Could be 35, and, uh, but I got, ne- I got Nev nickled. So. Well, you <laughs> did get Nev nickled. And Nev Nichols, five points for you, sir, wherever you are. I'm assuming somewhere on the Lonesome Highway. Obviously. The blacktop, the blacktop, two lane blacktop, perhaps. Maybe he's in a convoy right now. Maybe he's in a convoy. Maybe he's with BJ and the bear tooling around. Maybe he's. With Bandit and the Snowman. Maybe that's what he's doing. Those are all the truck references I have. (laughs) (laughs) Did I miss any? Did I miss any? No, No, I think that's literally all of them, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I agree with Tony. Perfect. Perfect. I I throw in a Dwight Yoakam. I once saw him in a truck. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. I'm surprised you didn't bring that up tomorrow after we stopped talking about it. (laughs) All right. Honestly, I'm telling you, it's still anybody's game. So we can rack up some points in the next game. So let's go to the jam. Today in the jam, it's TV on the radio. Some of the best TV shows had theme songs that got heavy duty airplay. So players today, I am going to read you the name of those theme songs. You tell me the show it was associated with. Each right answer gets five points. Each wrong answer gets no points. We're gonna go down the line. We're gonna start with Jimmy since he's in last place. We're gonna go Jimmy, Tony, Mary, Jimmy, Tony, Mary. You have five seconds to answer. If you can't answer in five seconds, you'll pass. We'll see how many we can cram in in one minute. Let's put 60 seconds on the rock clock. Jimmy Pardo, let's start with you. 60 seconds on the rock clock in the streets. Uh, Incestuous dreams. <laughs> Wrong. Mary Gallagher. Bad boys. Uh, I don't know. All right, pass. <clears throat> Tony Thaxton. Five o'clock world. Uh, uh, I don't know. Pass. <clears throat> Jimmy Pardo, a little help from my friends. Uh, wonder years. Points. Mary Gallagher, woke up this morning. Uh, one day at a time. <clears throat> oh, wrong. Tony Thaxton, I'll be there for you. Friends. Friends, easy one, excellent. Jimmy Pardo, suicide is painless. Ash. Good call, good call, sir. Mary Gallagher, everybody wants to rule the world. Uh, 21 Jump Street. <laughs> so wrong, great answer though, <laughs> wrong. Tony Thaxton, those were the days. Uh, all in the family. All in the family, good call, good call. Jimmy Pardo, the unknown stuntman. Uh, the Fall Guy, Lee Majors. <laughs> that is correct, the <laughs> Fall Guy. Wow. Excellent, good job. Written by Sherwood Shorts. Oh, Fresh we had one Prince more. of Bel Air. Oh, we'll give you that one, Mary. We'll give you that one. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Good oh, job, Mary you. Gallagher. <laughs> good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the points are in. The points are in. What a fun game, guys. I just want to thank you guys for playing and taking time out of your day. I really appreciate it. The points are in. Okay. Mary Gallagher will not be winning with 25 points. She able to pull 34 points today. 34 points. I went past winning. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you are so over winning. It's not even funny. You really am. <laughs> Tony Thaxton, second place, first loser, pulled it out with 40 points. Nev Nichols. <laughs> what if it wasn't for Nev? <laughs> 
<laughs> and then, ladies and gentlemen, with 42 points, Jimmy Pardo, you are this week's king of rock. There is none higher. Oh, I'm very thank honored. you so much. Anything you want to say to the fans? I want to say thank you, A, thank you for having me. Uh, Absolutely. To you, I assume you're a fan, so thank you for having me on the program. <laughs> and uh, full disclosure, uh, I said Fall Guy is a joke. Can't believe I got it right. <laughs> oh, get it, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, That's I just saw awesome. Stuntman and said Fall Guy, thinking, oh, that'll I don't know it, at least that maybe somebody will chuckle at that. Nope. Makes me right. win. Suck it, there drummer. You go. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. See what happens when you don't say pass, Mary. Okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, a little side note about the fall guy. Uh, Sherwood Schwartz played that song in the pitch meeting. That's how he sold the show. Oh, and didn't you get some sort of patch <laughs> up working on that show, Murray? <laughs> yeah, I did. I got a, I got a, I was craft service. My first craft service job working on that show. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, I want to thank the eye in the sky, Walker Yule. I want to thank Tony Thaxton. I want to thank Mary Gallagher. And I want to thank Jimmy Pardo. And hey, listen, guys, when life gets you down, remember what Prince said, shaboogie. All right. For what it's worth, I'm Murray Valeriano. Good night, Los Angeles. We love you.